Welcome to the Witcher Math Channel. That's me, Mr. Witcher. Hey, good to see you again. I uh, just want to warn you ahead of time, this could be interesting. Uh, I've just been told we're going to be testing the fire alarms. And uh, so if you hear a fire alarm go off, I'm just going to keep rolling and we'll see what happens. So uh, watch out for that. Please do not evacuate if you hear the fire alarm. Hey, I'm going to talk briefly today about a couple things that... Uh, Students sometimes get confused, mixed up, especially on those multiple choice tests. After all, we're coming up on standardized testing season. So here's a hot tip for you. Scale factor is not the same as percent change. No, it's not. So here's my example. Let's say we have two similar figures. That is, uh, you know, two, two uh, shapes that grow or shrink at the same rate, all the dimensions, all the measurements. So for example, this two here becomes the six. Those are corresponding sides. And the four and the 12 are corresponding sides. Okay? Got to understand the corresponding part. Now the way we figure scale factor is we take any dimension of the uh, copy. That's from the copy and we match it up, in this case with the two, from the original. Okay. Now we could also, we could do this with any pair of corresponding sides. So I'm just using a rectangle because it's very simple. Like I could take the 12 and match it up with the four. As long as I'm putting the copy on the toppy, as we learned in class. Copy on the toppy. Why? Because it rhymes. I don't know how to spell toppy. Let's do that. Okay, anyway, the bottom line is when you take the uh, ratio of corresponding sides and simplify it, you get what's called the scale factor. And the cool thing is that no matter which pair of corresponding sides you take, when you simplify it, you should get the same thing. Okay, 12 over 4 simplifies to 1, 3, 6 over 2 simplifies to 3. So in this case, our scale factor is 3. Whoops, there we go. Think of scale factor as the multiplier, right? The thing you multiply a side by to get a, a corresponding side on a similar figure. Okay, so scale factor 3. You could also think of that as 300% if you want to because one is 100%. Anyway, there we go. That's a scale factor. Now, if I take these same two shapes and we ask the question, what is the percent increase? Well, we're going to have a little bit different story, even though we're talking about the same things. Okay? So for this, I need how much does the thing change over how big was the original and then x equals what? That means per, and 100 means cent. Okay? So for percent change, we need to know how much it changes. So, for example, if we take our pair of corresponding sides, we can take 6 minus 2 equals 4. So it changes by 4. The original is 2. You can see how this is going to be different already, right? Then we could cross multiply and solve. We don't need to really in this case, but uh, on a problem that's not this simple, of course, this would be a good strategy for you. Aha! So see how those are different. We've got a percent increase of 200%. Meaning if you take two originals and add it to the original, then you have the copy. So it increased by 200%. And of course, if you're wondering, hey, does it matter if I take another pair of corresponding sides? Would it still work? Let's test it out. That's what we do in math, right? If you're wondering what if, test it out. We take 12 over 4, which is 8. That's the uh, change in these two corresponding sides, okay? the change over the original there, which was 4 in this case, 
we have 4x equals 800, and you can see how that's going to work out to be the same thing. All right, so there is our little demonstration of how scale factor, or a number that multiplies the original to get the copy, is different than percent change, which is comparing the amount of change between two things compared to the original. Okay? Whoo! A multiplier versus the change. Two different things, two different answers, but watch out because if you're on one of those multiple choice tests, guess what two of your choices would be on this problem? You'd probably have that and that. Would you make the right choice? This is percent change. If it asks for that, that's the right choice. And this is scale factor. Same problem, same shapes, two different answers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.